Good morning, you two. What are y'all doing? Where's Ed? Have y'all seen Ed? Guys, I gotta go find Ed. I hope he's doing okay this morning, guys. I hadn't seen him. But then again, I have literally just now walked outside. Poor Savvy. Savvy, you okay, sweet girl? You tired? She's like, uh, Dad? Would you leave me alone? I'm not done sleeping, Dad. But, um, there's two very large birds. <laughs> Moose just now saw me. He's like, oh, Dad, someone's here. Someone's here, Dad. They're, they're almost on my doghouse, Dad. I'm gonna scale them away. I'll, uh, Dad, they're going in my doghouse. There's nothing I can do. I'm too short. I'm just gonna leave. Are you guys gonna let me pet you guys? I'm so close to them. Like, literally, I can almost reach out and touch them. I'm one step away. Literally one step. And I am... I'm right here guys this is awesome they have never let me get this close before I'm I'm leaned up on the fence guys and they're right here on the doghouse this is awesome oh well I guess Moose and Savvy are probably blocking that side they probably don't want to go over there after they heard after they heard what uh they did to Cornholio hey you guys just go and get out of this yard I don't know how safe it is here All right, come on, you two. Let's go. Come on, out the gate. Out the gate. It's time to go. Hey, I open the gate for you. I open the gate for you to go out. You can use the gate like a normal bird. Seriously. Are you guys gonna? Would y'all get out of the yard, please? Um, hello. I have the gate open for you guys. Please just go out the gate, you two. It's open. The gate is open. There you go. Come on. Make your way out. No. Uh, yeah. Go. I, I open the gate for you. And you're going to go over the top of the gate. Are you kidding me? Would you? No. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's. No, you got to. You're supposed to go under that. These dang birds, y'all. What the heck was that? <laughs> okay, well, they're out of here, guys. Well, you know what, guys? I wasn't, like, terrified that they were in the dog yard. Not terrified, but uh, definitely the longer that, you know, they hang out in there. And there's dogs and there's birds, okay? Naturally, in the animal world, dogs and birds probably typically wouldn't get along. And so I would think... But the longer that these two birds are running around in front of them doing their stuff in their backyard, um, that's just more opportunity for something to go wrong. And so I figured it'd probably be best if I got the two birds out of there. So the two peacocks are out of there. I still cannot find Ed. He's probably still just sleeping somewhere. I'm going to keep on looking for him though. Well, there you are. Where have you been? I've been keeping an eye on your ladies over here. They're waiting for you. They, uh, they've they been telling me all morning how they want you to come over here and give them a little dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on, Ed. Go give them a little dance. Oh, yeah, guys. Here he goes. Here he goes, y'all. We are about to get a show. Oh, boy. Come on, Ed. Good morning, ladies. You girls sleep good last night? I'm feeling good and rested. Jake told me at first to, you know, pay y'all no mind. Act like I'm not even interested. Act like I'm interested in other ladies. So, uh, I'm just going to be taking a gander over here. Meanwhile, they have no interest in him. Hey. Hey, where are you going? Ed. You're... Ed, where are you going? Guys, I think he, he's finally given up. Oh, guys, look. She's like, oh, Ed, where are you going, Ed? Ed, come back, Ed. Guys, he's he's taking this to the extreme. He's really playing hard to get. Look, look, she's going to chase after him, y'all, seriously. 
She's chasing him now. Good job, Ed. Guys, that is a genius move, but he's still gonna he's still gonna try to slip up from the back. See what she's got going on back here. <laughs> Hey Ed, make your move. I think it's time. She literally followed you all the way over here. She's literally running after you, Ed. Ed, make your move. Ed, it's time to stop playing hard to get. Ed, you gotta know when enough is enough. Sheesh, guys. Party's over. He's he's taking it too far. He always just takes it just a step too far. He doesn't know when to stop. The poor little guy gets so nervous. Now he's just run off. He wasn't playing hard to get. He was scared. <laughs> I taught them that was on me. some of the things that we did when we were younger. Question of the day, what kind of things did you do around the dinner table to impress your friends, or in this case, your family? That is, my friends, is a leaning tower of salt. Pizza. A leaning tower of Pizza. salt. Well, 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 Longhorn Lester. So, you want to have a little challenge, huh? You think... You think you, you're so cool, huh? You can impress all the ladies. Well, you want to know what kind of things I can do to impress the ladies around the around the dinner table? Just ask my wife. <laughs> so the cool thing about this trick is um, it doesn't only have to be done, the, done at the dinner table. It can be done on any solid surface, guys. If you get me on any solid surface, I can make it happen. Now, seriously, though, the best thing about this trick is uh, you get to drink it. <sighs> That's good squirt. And then, after you're done drinking all that good, delicious squirt, all you're going to do is just set it down. Honey, come take a look at this. Honey, see? Look! 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 Wow. Real impressive. I told y'all! I told y'all she'd like it! So, Mrs. Morrow, you didn't seem that impressed at home, at the dinner table, okay? So, I have came somewhere a little bit more public, so follow me and I will show you that I can do this here, I can do this there, I can do this anywhere. Okay, honey, so I'm going to tell you the secret to this trick. Do you want to know it? Yes. Or do you want to just always think that it's magic? I want to know it. Okay, so the first thing you got to do, you just got to get any canned drink. It can be Squirt, Fanta, Coke, Dr. Pepper, or even root beer. Ooh. Yeah, you. Oh, you're saying ew, like ew, like like ew. ooh, I oh, like, like root beer. Ew, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, honey. But look, okay, so you take your can, and you want to drink the liquid down to about right here, uh -huh. somewhere. So this Fanta is probably a little bit too full. Um, it's probably good. Okay. So now. All you gotta do, honey, you see it's still a little bit too heavy. But you will find that perfect point. It's about halfway. Somewhere about, so the liquid in there is about right here. And then it'll the liquid inside will just balance and it'll sit right on this uh -huh. lip. Just like, well, honey, just like that. Cool. Well, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back to work.